Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about how to travel with your dog. I don't know how to travel with a cat, so we're not talking about that. <laughs> it's just going to be how to travel with your puppy or dog. So, recently I went out of town with Carter. If you don't know who Carter is, then make sure you check out the other videos. But here's a picture of my baby. So, I've never necessarily traveled anywhere with him before besides, I don't know, going to the vet or whatever. We've never stayed in a hotel or anything before. So this was the first time doing that and I had to do my own research and kind of figure out what things to bring with him so he is comfortable during the stay. So the first thing that I highly recommend you having when traveling with your dog is a carrying bag. I've already had this from when he was, you know, little of course. It's super important in making sure that he is easy to carry inside or wherever you're going. Or also you could use the same carrying bag, if I'm not mistaken, on the plane. I didn't go on a plane, we took a road trip, but if you're traveling with your dog on a plane, make sure that you're looking at the guidelines of how the puppy should be transported. This mesh bag might not be enough, you might need a portable crate, so make sure you look into that for sure. Along with a carrying bag, I ended up getting a portable playpen. So this was super important when we were in the hotel, which also make sure your hotel or Airbnb allows pets beforehand because most times, if not at all, they have an extra fee. So the hotel that we stayed at had an extra $25 fee for a pet, so that is what we had to do. So um, I had a portable playpen because at home he has his own cage and playpen extender. So I knew that I would have to confine him into a space and I knew carrying his actual kennel would be way too much work and too heavy for the road trip. So this portable playpen was super lightweight, it was super easy and affordable on Amazon. I'll leave it in the description bar in my Amazon store is where you can find all of these items I'm talking about. It was super easy to put together as well. It was actually a lot of room for him, which was good. I ended up putting his bed inside of it at night because he loves to roam at night and he wanted to jump on the bed and that was not happening. So um, it was actually a really good purchase. He ended up like playing in there and um, he didn't eat in there. I just didn't want him to, but it was, it was really good to have. So if you're traveling, getting a portable playpen is a must have. It was actually very durable and it came with its own carrying bowl, which I thought was really cool. So having a booster seat in the car is not mandatory, but it's something that I have for Carter regardless. Just because I don't want him moving around too much in my back seat. I specifically have leather seats in my back seat, so him having his nails, you know, sometimes not always trimmed, I don't need any damage to my back seat. So he does sit in his booster seat, and especially for this trip, it was a longer, you know, road trip, so he needed to be confined in that spot. So getting a booster seat is important to have if your dog is a smaller size. If your dog is bigger, they do have collars that you could attach to the seatbelts. You could also do that as well. Entertaining toys. <laughs> So dogs get bored just like humans do and so I thought about this and I made sure I had different toys to entertain his mind. So I got one in particular that I thought was super cool. It was like a puzzle piece where he had to, you had to hide treats in it so they could sniff it out and then they had to figure out how to maneuver it. I will insert a clip of him doing that now. It was super cute. He got frustrated a couple times but he figured it out. Um, there was another toy where it was like a ball and it was like a puzzle piece and he had to move the ball around in order to get the treats. Um, so those are the toys that I, I brought for him on this particular trip to kind of keep him engaged and entertained and satisfied. And that being said, making sure you bring treats, treats that he loves and also new treats. I ended up buying him new cookies, red velvet cookies, um, that he ended up liking on the trip and having something new makes them you know excited because it's a new place I didn't want him to have an old treat and just be bored and miserable so I wanted him to have a new treat and have fun and eating his treats so also along with having a portable like feeding you know bowl or something I ended up getting a portable water jug too this jug I actually really really like this I use this on his walks too like on a hot summer day not having to have a bowl on hand is super inconvenient so you put the water in here and then you close it And what it does, it has a button right here. You just press the button and it releases the water in here and they could drink the water. And then you could press the button again 
and the water from here goes right back in here so there's no mess there's no hassle there's anything i did end up having his smaller water bowl um just because he is used to drinking out of a bowl so i did have that but having something like this on a trip is also pretty cool to have as well so other obvious items that you need when traveling are from having a whole bunch of puppy pads while traveling and having a puppy attractant spray as well is essential in having and along with your barking collars or um behavioral tools so i had my beeper if you don't know what i'm talking about then make sure you watch his essentials um items video where i talk all about the barking collars and the beeping devices and such having those are important when you're traveling and staying at an airbnb or a hotel because you don't need them disturbing other people especially the first night he didn't quite sleep he wasn't comfortable so he was you know barking at every noise at every door closing and everything so i had to make sure that he was fine so i'm gonna now insert just a couple clips of our stay to kind of see what his setup was looking like with his playpen his bed how i ended up feeding him and everything so go ahead and enjoy that so we bought his bed, his blanket, all stuff that he knows while we're in the hotel. And we have his little portable playpen. Comes in this cute little case. So we're going to put that like in this area so he could have this as well. Bed. I just want him to know that this is his space while we're here. Mm -hmm. And I put his puppy pad right here just because, you know, carpet over here and over there. And I use the puppy attractant spray so he knows that this is where to go and this is where to go only. So this is what we use when we're traveling. He hates it, but it's absolutely necessary. Carter, I love you. Get in. Good boy. And this is what we got. He's in there. <laughs> this face is right here. He's mad. This is his car seat. We just buckled it to his jacket for the time being, but you can buckle it to his leash. these tips are helpful don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you have any additional traveling tips on how to travel with your dog then make sure you leave them down below because sharing is caring and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys